Y'all, what's going on, everybody? I'm FHRC Brony, and today um, I'm here to show you guys this car right here. This is going to be my first car, well, at least in the near future. I'm going to be using my dad's Honda Civic for my driver's test. But once I do get myself a license, this is the car that I'm going to be driving. This is a, I believe, in late 90s. I don't even know the exact year, but it's a late 90s Toyota 4Runner. And this is originally being driven by my nephew's uh, sister. And, and it's in really solid condition. And I'm not going to bother show that license plate down there, but basically what's everything in this car is working working perfectly fine however uh, it still needs some work um, this thing is in, the, in need for a new fuel pump um, I believe and uh, we need some new fuel injectors for this car and new spark plugs because I mean although this car does work it's uh, it's still in need for some maintenance because this is a really old automobile. But, and after that, once that thing is old, uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, they, this, need, this is a need for a new catalytic converter. Uh, and from what I learned about catalytic converters, they need to be state sp uh, specified. So basically, I live in the state of California and it needs to have a catalytic converter specifically for this state. So if I buy a catalytic converter from another state like New York or something, I, I and I bring it here, it will not pass the smog check. So and then that's just money wasted. So basically, I need uh, to get this car certified and uh, allowed to be driven here in the state of California. It needs to have that that ca that catalytic converter specifically for this state. Um, and also, catalytic converters are not created equally, so they're state specified. But other than that, this car is still runs okay. It still cranks up and still runs, but we just need uh, just some some of those parts. Hopefully, um, nothing too major like the engine block, the cylinder cylinder head itself. Because if that's the case, then that means this car is in need for a new engine rebuild but hopefully that's not that so as you can see these are actually new forerunner rims uh, from a late generation forerunner but aside from that this car is still in good condition it still runs and hopefully this will be my first car to drive once I do get my license so that's it this is the late 90s Toyota forerunner for you